Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to be a bit of a weird one because I don't have a laptop to edit videos. So I've just lit, lit the burner as you can see in the corner, I thought I'd add it into the shot. I've just left my friends which is down the road, I'm just at a local park up about 10 minutes away from home. Um, and I just like to do this before every trip just to um, make sure I got everything, which I haven't. I forgot to fill the 10 litre water butt uh, that I brought just to fill the main 45 litre. Um, I forgot some bits of plywood to go on the sofa frame. I'll show you around, uh, maybe not tonight, but I'll definitely show you guys around. But yeah, I forgot some bits of ply for this. I forgot a few little bits, um, so I'm probably going to go back first thing in the morning before I leave. And that's why I like to do this little test run, because if I'd have left my destination, I'd have got there and gone, ah, I forgot that, ah, I forgot that, ah, damn it. <laughs> so I just like to do a little test run before home, pop back if I need to, which I don't very often have to, um, but I had so much to do, I think I got caught up in work to do on the van, rather than packing the van. So, anyway, irrelevant. Um, my trip, so this is going to be the first full-on, this is it, I now live full time on the road as of today which is an exciting benchmark and funnily enough it is exactly one month before my 19th birthday so today is the 15th of January 2023 and I set off earlier today it's a Saturday and I just look forward to the whole thing but yeah the reason this video is going to be different is because well you would have known by the date this is filmed a very long time ago now the reason for that is I don't have a laptop to edit videos anymore um, because my laptop broke I need to sell my laptop but I just haven't got around to doing it and I'll probably do that uh, next time I'm back at my dad's uh, but yeah this is now home um, and it's really exciting I've done so much to get it to this point to go away I'm going to Hereford to do some work with Luke's van life um, on the little electrical company they have which is Blue Fix and I'm really looking forward to working with them. I've done a bit before with them as a little tester. They liked it, I liked it, so we're going ahead and I'm doing a few days here and then I'll be back two weeks later. So I've got two weeks of trotting around, um, doing my own thing basically. And then for my birthday, I'm probably gonna go somewhere, but I hope to do these kind of daily vlogs I'll put on the screen, day number and, what, um, and roughly where I am, like kind of those vlogs. Uh, but it'll all be composed into one video as kind of I'm now full time <laughs> uh, van life as they say I don't really use that word very often but hey I do in my titles because that's how I get people to watch the videos <laughs> so yeah I just fired the burner up I'm about to make some dinner which isn't very exciting um, I'm not very stocked up on anything food or anything but it should get me by I need to pop to the shops tomorrow uh, well I've got power now I've got heat so I'm giving Patreon little unedited clips on my phone because it doesn't require the laptop just to keep them updated but for you guys I'd have loved to do like a weekly update but sadly I just can't do it but yeah it's gone from 7 degrees in here to 8 degrees um, and I can feel the heat from here though so I can take my jacket off I can settle down, I can have dinner and I can have an early night because I've been staying up late working on this van <laughs> still getting up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and then cracking on again and it's been mega busy. I'll show you everything I've done tomorrow morning but that's a little briefing of what this video is going to be about uh, which is good five minutes keep it short sweet because I've got about a month 28 days roughly depending on if I do it every day and I'll update you guys what I'm doing every day and I'll try and keep this video under half an hour so I hope you guys enjoy this video I have no idea what it's going to turn out to be who knows there might be a disaster and I'll be back at home next week but I hope not um, so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning everyone. So you lost me yesterday. Yesterday was when Monday. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yesterday was Monday and I left my park up where I was filming. Where I did my last little clip. Um, well I, I would have put a few montages in this morning. 
Well, uh, yeah, the last time you spoke to me, that was Mon uh, that was Sunday night. So yesterday, I left that park up. I had to go back to my dad's to um, get this sofa stuff because I forgot it. <laughs> and uh, I forgot to fill the 10 litre water. And seeing as I'd already used water the night before, I thought I'd top the main tank up as well. So I had a water top up and then help my mum with something as well. So yeah, and then I went into town, went shopping, and uh, then left, came here, and it's really nice here. And the sun came out during my drive yesterday. Rose was great, amazing as always. It's wood. <laughs> uh, she's, she's a good one. And, um, and yeah, when I got here, it was still lovely and sunny. It was about half one. So I went for a walk, um, filmed a bit Patreon. From a little Patreon update for them guys. As I say, if you don't follow me on Patreon, especially during this blank pay bit, well, you won't know about it till after. But uh, yeah, I've been uploading to there. But yeah, last night it was like minus three. In fact, it's still dropping. I think this because it's under the van doesn't get quite as cold. Um, but that says minus two point seven. When I woke up, it was minus one point six. When I went to bed, it was minus one point four. Uh, and now, yeah, it's minus two point seven. So it's getting colder. I guess the sun still hasn't actually showed its face yet. Um, but yeah, I got all my nice little bits and bobs up. Got my nice sofa so I can relax and not watch the flames because I still haven't put a window in it. <laughs> uh, the fridge is all working well. Yeah, it's it's going really nice. It's really cozy in there. About to head off to work, as I say. So yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you around. So here is the door, as you can see. So you walk in the door, and then over here, um, there is going to be a shower, which is 60 by 60. Very small, but I don't want it intruding into the space. And you can buy camper van shower trays that are 60 by 60. And my dad has one in the boat. And it's very small, but it's doable, you know. If you're going to use it once a week, why, why does it need to be bigger? Kind of thing, you know. So that's all in there, along the copper pipe with some hooks. So you can hook it off. I'll put two hooks somewhere else in the van, so you can hook them up and then you can just shower um, and then there's a coat hook obviously and then keys and shit um, I love my stable door still you can just look out it's freezing out there though so I'm not going to do that uh, the window is amazing lets in so much light I got a bit of copper bar across here I got it all screwed in it's all oak screwed in glued I still need to trim off the glue <laughs> everything was just built so it's functional not so it looks pretty well this was also for its functional. This was from the charity shop for seven quid. I could have built it. I will build one because six spices is not enough. Um, but this one, I was like, it's a quick fix. I can put that on now because uh, I don't really have time to make one. Um, yeah, the sticker fridge where many people's stickers are on. There's a small gap there, but otherwise it's full. <laughs> All the drawers are amazing. I pretty much haven't got cupboards in here. It's just drawers, which I really like because nothing gets stuck at the back. You can just pull everything out um, and then the bottom one is big they all need refacing with pallet wood because it's a horrible front and they've got these horrible catches that I haven't used I've used these brass ones um, and I'm going to change the handles for nice copper effect um, shell handles which I used in all my other vans that's gonna have a drop-down door under the cooker that's for pans that's the only cupboard really <clears throat> there's the oven um, I can't use the induction hob because the modified sine wave inverter does not work with this so I've quickly purchased a used one for 180 quid. I'm getting it delivered to a friend's and I'm going to go pick it up um, on Friday this week. I uh, got the little child catch in that I've seen a few people use for the fridge. Works a treat. Uh, yep, kettle and teapot all on the burner, keeping warm. Burner is just at 100 degrees now so just cooling down. And I'll lock these vents off now. Oh I already have. Yeah, so I've locked them off, so we're now suffocating the fire, um, and it's only a couple of embers in there anyway, and I, I've, I've driven like this before and it's perfectly fine. Um, and the burner, the embers and the ash will stay warm pretty much all day, and basically it, it won't keep the van obviously 21 degrees warm, but it will keep it warm. <laughs> uh, in a future video there will be a lot about the electrical system with DIY lithiums. Apologies for the bad lighting, I still need to get, I have got, that's another job I want to do is um i got those lights but uh another job is to put some puck lights up so yeah that's the electrical cupboard oh also i got all my tools here 
under the sofa and I've got a um, lovely oak bit of wood I found uh, which I was almost going to burn I was like no that's too nice to burn look at that and then I cut it and I mean look at that I almost kind of want to let you see this in the final sofa design <laughs> I don't really know how because there's supposed to be a cushion on the top but anyway this is ash and this is all oak the rest of it and another thing I did when I was uh, yesterday when I was in town I got the van weighed so like this as you can see fully loaded fully wood um, these are solid ash tongue and groove floorboards these are solid wood tongue and groove floorboards I don't know what type they could also be ash they kind of look quite similar so yeah not very light they're 20 mil thick and these are 15 mil thick <laughs> guess the weight obviously I still got to add doors and uh, and the walls the weight was 2.94 2.94 tons which I was amazed about like it was 2.2 as an insulated empty box now I've insulated that wall as well and the bulkhead wall added the ply added the insulation in the floor I've added um, underfloor heating which I think I mentioned in the previous video which I never really finished off I kind of got a bit lost with videos um, underfloor heating piping uh, six mil subfloor floor uh, all my tools which I can't lift they probably weigh at least 100 kilos and full tank of water full tank of diesel full wood stock the burner in mattress batteries everything 2.9 ton and I've added 700 kilos with all that stuff and just to do the walls and doors and build a shower and put solar panels on I got 600 kilos so I'm pretty happy with that I'm definitely gonna be under three and a half ton and I'd like to stay as little as possible. I mean, as low as possible under three and a half time, but we'll see where we get. Anyway, let's not make it too long. Let's show you under the subfloor. So here, now I glued them all together last night. This one's gonna be a faff to, oh, it's not. <laughs> there we are. And it just lifts up with one panel. There's no extra batten because that would have been extra weight. I just use this ultra glue. It's um, polyurethane Evo stick. I think it's Evo stick. Um, polyurethane evo stick glue from Wix. I'm going to drill some holes so you can put your finger in and lift it up and as you can see there's just a hatch <laughs> so well happy with that but yeah this end some of them aren't lined up and the glue's oozed out so I'll probably just run the track saw along each side to tidy it up and I probably will sand these because these were used floorboards that's why I don't know what they are these were used I put them at a house they had a carpet on top so they kind of got that tarnished carpet stain on the top as well so I'll probably sand them back and varnish them um, but these ones are brand new but I'll probably varnish these as well just to protect them so I'm gonna go and uh, I'll catch you guys like tomorrow or maybe not because I'm working but uh, yeah I need to start the van before I'm late Welcome back, uh, this is day four, I believe, day four. Um, now, not much going on at the moment, but, uh, well, I'm cooking, as you can clearly see. So, as you might be able to tell, eagle-eyed viewers, I have more lights. You can probably see them. Not the warmest in there at the moment, but it, the burner is going, it hasn't stopped all day in there. I've got the door open the jar, that's why you can see that. I, I can't wait to see how the induction hob is doing. Yeah, but I'm going to shut up now because I've been talking for 15 minutes. I'll catch you guys when I'm eating down on the sofa. So, hello everyone. First time testing out the uh, dash mount. My camera, as per usual, is always going to die, even though it had a new battery in uh, last time I used it. Last night, and that was only 15 minutes. Never mind. Alright, we're heading off to Richard beyond the van. Um, still got my strange noise with the uh, on startup. I don't know if I should mention that. I can't remember anything. 
Well, I think there's nothing to worry about. I spoke to a few people. Well, obviously it needs sorting, but I think I'll get away with it with my journeys. It's quite intermittent. It sounds like tappets. Well, yeah, let's crack on. It's a lovely, lovely sunny day. Um, I meant to feel, I was driving this morning, it was beautiful with the sunrise and I um, completely forgot to film anything. But yeah, it's noisy in here so I won't be able to talk so uh, I'll see you guys on the other side but my camera's probably going to die so short time now. Oh look, Mercedes loots and horse box. Ah! Beast. Ha, he doesn't care, nobody's cared yet. I haven't seen another T1 either. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Close all the curtains Stay on the phone We are the monsters Holding you still We are the gallows So, hello everyone and welcome back. Um, Today is the 23rd, Monday the 23rd of January. I'm here at the LDV Enthusiasts. <laughs> Mr. Richard from Beyond the Van. My camera battery's dying as standard. And here is Rose, just been doing some bits on her. Got these marker lights wired up. Um, starting to pin the cable up. And then I've also got an alarm in there. Um, my shut off from the battery works, the clock is on mains, we've got reverse camera hooked up. As you can see it's looking at the two LDVs there, so it's all going well. And uh, Rose is looking her best as usual, apart from all the creases. And the sun's out, and yeah, I'm about to go off, been here about three days I think, and uh, gonna go find a forest park up to find more wood, because as you can see, still very cold and frosty but look at that the sun is coming out so yeah I also met these lovely friends here um, I'll link their YouTube in the description because they actually have a YouTube which is good to see and I'll be following them they got a lovely van there Very, very interesting first experience being pulled over by the police. Uh, yep, nothing bad, just uh, a DVSA check, and they pulled, they were pulling vans and commercial vehicles off. So they pulled me off, and I was like, please let it just be away because that'll be simple. But no, it was a whole vehicle check, and uh, my caliper was loose, my driver's front caliper. So I'm very happy that they stopped me. But boy, was I nervous when they pulled me. I was like, what have I done? So, yeah, uh, there was also a ball joint, um, which I attempted to replace the boot to. Uh, I'm going to leave you, and uh, I'll see you at my park up tonight. So, hello everyone, parked up at my park up tonight. It's dark now, um, little forest park up. I'll show you in the morning, and I'll also show you the path that I took to get down here. It's very narrow. I was slightly concerned about getting stuck. Burner is on and ticking over beautifully. And over here I have some carrot and coriander soup going on. Oh no, you can't see a thing. Um, just going to use the blender. It's being cooked on the induction hob. Does some things in the air fryer. It's all going well so far.
Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm currently in the woodland. I'll take you out in a minute, I just need to grab a couple of bits of wood I left on the path because I've just been collecting the wood down here and around the burner to dry it all out. As you kind of get into the depths of winter into the new year all the wood's been sat there damp for longer so the whole back of the burner is surrounded but I don't, I'm not very good at identifying wood but these proper hardwood all debarked so don't have any they're not green at all um, but they're soaking wet and really heavy but the heaviness could also be you can tell it's steamy <laughs> the heaviness could also be because they're full of water so here we are outside and as you can see the marker lights are on I'll stick a picture in of what she looked like last night. Um, I took some pictures. She looks pretty smart. And there is that gorgeous sun that rarely shows its face nowadays. <laughs> oh, but take a look at this. This is going to make some good slow mo footage. You'll see that in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to grab this, um, those bits of wood over there, and then uh, go back into the lovely warm van. My home. Look at that, that's going, that is. Just thought I'd capture this while I'm here. Loads of people have turned up. Not a single person over here. Next to the weird van. <laughs> that's large enough full. Whoever comes next has no choice. Just a quick one, um, welcome to my video, um, hopefully this will turn out alright. <laughs> Yum. So this is the first time I've actually done this, overnight oats. Um, literally just oats, a um, bit of water, um, some any seeds you got like chia seeds or I had flax seeds or whatever um, and then some cinnamon and some peanut butter and some maple syrup and then bosh it overnight and then stick some fruit in in the morning and that is nice so I usually do this quite early so it's currently six o'clock I woke up at half five ish <laughs> um, Burner's being stubborn to get going, but that's because I'm using kind of terrible wood at the moment. But it's 17 degrees, so it's warm enough. <laughs> Just not 20 degrees. Um, so once I've done this and added maybe another couple of teas, <laughs> that's why I make the pot, stick it on the burner, um, and then it stays warm for as long as you need it and then I go and get some firewood. Right, I'm not out of breath from walking or from carrying this bag full of wood. It's from soaring. I've left the saw there, I'm going to go a bit more than that one that I was doing yesterday. But man, wood burners may be free to run. 
but man are they not easy you got to stay at a lot of forest park ups got to get wood like every two or three days and it consumes like an hour of your day fill in the bag finding the wood finding the right wood if you can and whoa it's a proper workout so it's not for everyone <laughs> that's for sure but don't get me wrong I love it I wouldn't change it for the, for the world best heat ever free hot water uh, free heat super hot heat and you could dry anything around it you could do so much with a wood burner as I say I'm going to run my proper hot water system off of it underfloor heating <laughs> the lot <laughs> completely forgot about my video um, I was kind of doing like a day in the life on the road um, and at park ups and I filmed going to uh, Shrewsbury where I did some shopping and stuff but obviously I didn't film the shopping because that's boring um, but then I completely forgot about <laughs> filming again so anyway I'm here now uh, two park ups later I met up with um, Tash and John Life Beyond Bricks and that was all good fun I uh, had a good chat and then I came to a different park up after the night that I was at that spot. They didn't stay the night but it was just a flying visit which was nice to see them there. Um, and then I came to this little woodland park up um, as per usual. <laughs> I'm still here now. Uh, it's uh, just north of Shrewsbury. Um, I won't say much more than that because it is lovely. And I am loving it here. <laughs> now, if you follow me on Instagram, there was a lot of B-roll and stuff of it being sunny. And to be honest, I think because I don't have the laptop, the videos aren't really on my head. So I'm not even really thinking about doing, like, montage bits. Um, but I'll put in a picture or two of the absolute stunning view it was when it's sunny. It's now cloudy, still lovely, but uh, honestly, the sun just made it. Especially after not seeing the sun for a week or so. <laughs> when the sun comes out and I've just turned up at a park up. Um, seems to be always sunny when I'm driving and then when I get there it's like not sunny. <laughs> so it was nice to enjoy the sun. I literally just pulled over, 
and uh, just um, when I laid in the sun, literally sunbathed, I, I was in a t-shirt, <laughs> just lying there on the ground, because, you know, you got to make the most of the sun in the January, February, March time, when, when it's just coming back, and it's nice and warm, the sun's warm at this time of year, it's just getting warm, and it's like, oh yes, so uh, that was all good fun. But yeah, now I'm just cooking, so I'm cooking a, a dal, um, quite enjoy doing bits like that. Put the wood burner on as usual. And um, uh, Neil uh, on Instagram as um, Big Blue Iveco. Um, I'll put the, the little tag in, on the screen and in the description. Um, yeah, he's local and messaged me and said, oh, I'll, I'll drop by. And I was like, that sounds good to me. So uh, we had a little chat and uh, he's still here. So uh, <laughs> I'm still at the same spot. It's now the next day. Um, yeah. My, my dinner was, well, my lunch was very nice. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, cooking tends to use about 10 amp hours, 10 to 15 amp hours, depending on what it was. Uh, that was with doing quite a lot of saving. So I, I cranked the burner up a bit and I did the lentils boiling on the burner for 20 minutes and also the rice for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so that saves a lot of electricity, having the burner you can just have things simmer and boil like pasta and rice and lentils just on the burner um, and that way you're not using any electric which is <laughs> really good um, so yeah that's for those that are interested and I'm still at the same spot <laughs> this is my third night now so I'm gonna go today out of all the things I'd say is water is the hardest like I can go to a forest and find wood obviously for your van you buy diesel it's fine but I'd say water is always something I had on my mind before I started um, living in here and I thought yeah it's it's probably going to be the hardest thing in this country at least and I'm probably going to end this video here because that's yeah well I, I, you know um, I tend to go out for a nice little walk I might go out for one today and stick it in so it's going to be a day in the life spanned over three days <laughs> So yeah, I'll make I'll make a little um, uh, forestry montage. Uh, I think the, the sunrises would be nice, but it's too cloudy. The sky was a nice colour then, um, but it, it wasn't anything spectacular to film. It was just a nice colour cloud. <laughs> so yeah, a bit, and there was a bit of rain. We haven't had rain for a while, um, and it's warming up this week, which partially is nice. Like the some aspects, it's nice to be a bit warmer, but. I am looking forward to going finding some snow hopefully on my birthday even if it's just a day of snow. But today I'm going to um, the mountain uh, Klangolen, uh, that kind of area and I've got a few spots around there so I'll probably spend three or four nights around there and then I'll be heading back down next week for work but that'll be next week's video is a little trip around Klangolen and then once that's done and I've done my work I'm then heading up to Snowdon to go find some snow and stuff um, so that's all going to be another video after that so th there's going to be a few videos <laughs> and i got to edit them all um, I'm with uh, Lunabus at the moment um, if you don't follow him on Instagram um, go and do he's um, he's a really nice guy and he's offered to uh, offload my SD cards onto my hard drive because I can't do it because uh, I don't have a laptop to do it so I've got like free storage on my hard drive and I've got um, SD cards but they're filling up because I can't put them anywhere because I don't have a laptop so problems 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 but I'm hopefully gonna buy something very soon because I'm getting very fed up of not editing videos I do miss it so I like to get some montage film so at least I've got some interesting stuff to fill uh, to edit as well when I do get a laptop but for now I'm gonna leave you guys here um, and I really appreciate a comment down below share this video with your friends if you feel like it a day in the life uh, within the first two weeks of living in a van and uh, if you haven't liked it already please do hit the like button drop a comment down below to let me know what you thought about it and if you're not subscribed I'd really appreciate it if you did um, and hit that bell icon and I'll see you next week <laughs>